and welcome to learn ADS in five minutes. This is tutorial 24 and in this tutorial we'll talk about substrate stack up definition in ADS layout. So we will start from where we left in the last tutorial video where we learned about how to manage some custom you know GUI functions in ADS layout window and set up the toolbar and the, and the useful windows for our work. And we use microstrip library component palette to place you know few transmission lines define their parameter and have a, a structure which we would like to do an electromagnetic simulation on. Now for EM simulation, it's important to have a stack up definition without which you can't do anything. So in order to create a new stack up in ADS, you could click on substrate editor icon or go to EM menu and click on substrate. Now if there is no stack up in your uh, workspace currently, you would be prompted to create a new substrate and you, you know, opening the substrate editor. When you click OK, you can provide your substrate some name and you can pick any of the available template as a starting point and then you can keep modifying it. So you have various uh, kind of templates available here, including Illumina, Gallium Arsenide, Strip Line, four layer, six layer, etc. So for this simple tutorial, we will use a sample microstrip 25 mil Illumina template. And once we click on create substrate, a substrate GUI opens up. Now in this GUI, we can go ahead and arrange um, the, the things as we need. So what you see currently by default, you have a cover plate at the bottom, and then you have a dielectric brick and a metal on the top. Now to, to address or to change the physical properties of these things, you can click on the relevant item. On the right hand side, you can change the material type. You can define the layer which you want to map. So currently it's a corn layer and this is exactly the same layer which ADS uses by default uh, to draw the, the components on the layout. But in case you're using any other layer to draw your structure in layout, you can go ahead and change the allocation. For example, I can change it to corn2 and correspondingly, if you look in GUI, you will have corn2 mapping there. But we know for sure that by default we are using corn, so we'll go ahead and correct that again. Now, once we have the material defined, uh, when we have the physical properties defined here, we can go ahead and take a look at the, at the material definition. So let me maximize it and so that you can see it much better. Now, in order to add new material definitions, we can go to technology, material definition list, and this is where we can add as many material as we want and then use it use them in our stack up design. So to, under dielectric tab, I can either add a new dielectric, give it whatever name I want, assign the ER and the loss tangent property, or I can add it from a database. So in ADS uh, database, you have plenty of materials for you to pick. For example, in this case, I will go ahead and pick Rogers 4350 and add it in the list. Once the material gets added to the list, it becomes your local quantity you can go ahead and change the performance as you need and change the spec based on what you need. Similarly, under conductors, we already have a copper, but let's say I want to have a gold as my conductor. I can go ahead from the database, pick gold and add it in the list and then I can use it. So it's important to have as many materials as you want to use in your stack up definition listed down here in this material definition page. Now, once we are done, we close the material definition dialog and we come back to a stack up. And here, if we click on the dielectric brick, we have a material which is by default assigned. We can click on this drop down box and go ahead and pick our Rogers material. And that's how you see Rogers gets assigned here. And the height can be changed by changing the thickness here. So I'll go ahead and change it to 20 mil dielectric, which I want to have. Similarly, for the conductor here, we can go ahead and change the material to be copper. And instead of using a sheet conductor, which basically uh, you know, implies a zero micron thickness, so just like a 2D sheet um, you know, on top of this dielectric, I can make it intrude into substrate. And intrude here means extending it either in the plus Z direction or a minus Z direction. So here, because we have a micro step, you have an air dielectric on top of the the regular dielectric, hence we use the intrude option. If you're using multi-layer stack up and we are you know, uh, editing in between layer, sandwich between two uh, you know, similar kind of dielectrics, then we will use expand the substrate option. But right now it's grayed out because we only have one dielectric brick here. 
Now, once we define intrude, we can go ahead and define the thickness as we need, like 35 micron, and we are done with our stack up definition. We can save the definition here. Now, in case your design requires a PTH hole or a via hole um, for grounding purpose or going to one layer to another layer, you could right click on the dielectric bit where you want to add the via and select the option map conductor via. And you can see a via definition getting added in the stack up definition. And by default, the via drawing layer is whole and that's what being allocated here. So in your layout design, if you have to ground anything, you can draw circles in whole layer and basically overlapping with conductor layer and that will form the via from conductor to ground. So as we go along, we will learn about some of these you know, advanced um, you know, techniques uh, to handle multi-layer layouts in ADS and how to set it up for EM simulation, how to set their stack up, etc. So that's your five minutes for this video. Thanks for watching this tutorial.